We're not going to show this part in the video, right? No, the, well, that part too, yeah. All right, so today we're shooting the whiskey bottle for Solar Spirits. They're one of our clients here in town. This is a pretty small setup, a small room, but we got to make the best of it. So we've got a multi, multi lights just to shoot this one. We got a background light here. This is shooting against the white background. It will come back and reflect on the white plexi that we're using and create a seamless white background. This light here is similar to a rim light, but it's going to create a nice highlight along the side of the bottle that we are, have been using just consistently. We have a light back here behind, behind this in a soft box. This diffusion fabric is going to give us a gradient that goes across the side of the bottle here. So we'll take a few shots with these lights on and off and then show you the difference, basically the difference in all of them and how they affect the look of the bottle. That is, that's almost perfect, like right out of the camera. All right, so now we've got all the lights set. We'll show a series of images, one with the backlight that shows how we got that white background, and the other to show the highlights, and then finally our last light, which is right by the camera, that's really to just give us some pop off of the logo. The logo was not showing up very well, so we all wanted a little bit more color. Yeah, so when we were shooting the clear bottle compared to the whiskey, we're just getting a lot more light passing through the bottle, which means both our left light and our right light and our back light, they're all the, now all the light is going through this liquid without any diffusion. And with a white bottle with clear liquid in, or with a clear bottle and clear liquid, it's harder to see the definition of, of where those highlights are. So we're just trying to figure out how can we bring those highlights back. We tried flagging some black on the left and right, but there's with a round bottle, all of that's just coming back and creating dark shadows everywhere in the bottle. So we're going to remove those. And I think we'll play with the power coming from that backlight. I think that's going to be the trick. And then we'll have to call it good enough at some point. So Jess is going to remove those flags. And then Jess, let's reduce the power on that light right there too. Can you get in there? So we're done with the shoot for today. You guys will see the final result when we're done. One of the challenges shooting this, this type of product, which is number one, it's glass, um, number two, it's liquid, uh, is light passes through this bottle in every direction we put light, so we just have to be conscious of that. We need to know on the, on the right side how our shadow and the gradient as it goes around the bottle is gonna look on this, on this um, from my side, the right side of the bottle, your left. We just want one highlight. I know there's, we could have done more with reflectors. That would have been a way to tackle it. But anyway, we, I think we got the shot we wanted. And uh, thanks to Solar for uh, letting us uh, shoot this. That was really crappy. <laughs> thanks for Solar for letting us um, do the photography for the bottles. And we look forward to delivering those uh, to them. They'll use these on the web and also in some of their print material that goes out to bars and, and distributors uh, throughout the Northwest. Mm -hmm.